I'm Dana Denha, and you're watching FYI. Ypsilanti has gotten a whole lot cuter as they hired some furry friends to help mow hard-to-reach grassy areas throughout the city. Local shepherd Yuko Frazier wanted to put her flock to work, and suddenly she stumbled into a job with the city. It was kind of a funny thing. I was picking up my lunch at a local food truck and uh, started a conversation with the guy who was uh, waiting for his lunch. And he happened to be the director of public works uh, for the city. He was really interested in ideas, which is the Project Mo. Project Mo provides lawn mowing service using my flock of sheep. And compared to the traditional way of cutting grass and fertilizing your grass, it's a lot more eco-friendly. Um, it, it uses almost no fossil fuel and it fertilizes natural way. The sheep are ideal for those hard to reach places and even have a taste for some of those pesky plants. The machine cannot do areas that's really hilly like this, so that's an advantage for the sheep. They have four legs, it's easier for them to maneuver, cutting down the, the invasive plants. Especially for poison ivy around this area, it's a really good idea for use them instead of trying to do it with your hands. These 23 sheep are causing quite a spectacle. People started talking to each other and it seems like it's building some kind of a community. I don't know, sheep community, I guess. So I think that's a great part of um, having livestock in a public area because it kind of connects people somehow. Stay tuned and we'll be back shortly with more news and information. The public housing property, formerly known as North Maple Estates, just reopened their doors after receiving a huge makeover. Take a look. Now known as West Arbor, 46 families have a new place to call home. A tenant pays the amount of rent that's based on their income. So all of our tenants pay 30% of their income towards rent and utilities. It can range from $50 to $300 or $400 and then the rest of the rent is paid by HUD. We lost our home and uh, went into a shelter. Um, and my case manager came to me to tell me about this project. They were building up these townhouses and homes and I was one of the first families selected. It's an open house, kind of, you know, cutting the ribbon type deal, kind of ceremony, you know, since they're freshly new. So. <laughs> The revamped property is a sight to see. These buildings were built from the ground up. So everything in them, even the outside, everything is brand new. So refrigerator, just everything, siding, everything. We had enough money left over that we just recently bought uh, everybody a washer and dryer so they don't have to go to the laundromat. We have the community center and so we have community events here. We have uh, Peace Neighborhood Center and Avalon Housing provide services for any resident for whatever they need. The neighborhood provides peace of mind. I don't have to worry about my daughter, my teenager riding her bike and, and you, know, you know, things happen everywhere but it, it's very safe and I love it. I actually like everything, how they do like activities like almost every day and there's like a park once I got here so like once I got here I got to go to the park with my baby sister. What I do in the neighborhood, <laughs> this thing and this go to the park. When you feel safe where you're living, when you feel safe with your neighbors and your neighbors take care of each other, I think that makes it special. Goodbye. This is the most convenient time of year to repair roads, and Ann Arbor has some major passageways getting a facelift this season. Get some road construction updates in this month's City Roundup in 60. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi, I'm Nick Hutchinson. I'm the city engineer for the city of Ann Arbor, and I'm here today to give you a little bit more information about road construction in the city this year. Starting with the project right behind me, the Stadium Boulevard reconstruction project, which started back in November of last year and is scheduled to go through the end of August this year, just in time for football season. And uh, also several other major road construction projects we have going on in the northeast side of town, where we're replacing the water main at the intersection of Plymouth and Green. We're also installing a roundabout at the ex intersection of Nixon, Duvar, and in Green. And that intersection will be closed for the summer, starting in mid-June and going through the end of August. We have several other short-term road construction projects going on throughout the city, and you can find out more about those at our website at a2gov.org slash roadconstruction. Engines revving, burning rubber and polished steel will be back in the downtown during the Rolling Sculpture Car Show. This annual event brings car junkies from all over to share their rides or even just revel in some of the most unique cars to hit the road. Joining me is Tim Pott, Operations Manager for Arbor Motion, and Ben Coleman, Chair of the Rolling Sculpture Car Show. Welcome back to the show, guys. I'm, I'm not even sure how many years we've been doing this together, four or five, something like that. Easily five. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what year are we in of the car show? How many years has this been hitting the downtown? Started in 1994. This is a 23rd annual show. Wow. So we got some, we got some time in. How many, how many years have you two been involved in the show? Hard to say. Um, don't have that great a memory for this stuff. <laughs> At least eight years. Yeah. I've, I've been uh, a, a trophy sponsor and have a little exhibit of six cars that uh, I reach out to friends and customers that bring their cars in so so what's your uh, display going to be this year can we find well out? it's uh, i'm a porsche guy so yeah. it's all porsches um if we're lucky uh we will have a very rare porsche 904 there um belonging to a, a, a local guy this is uh an extremely rare car with a lot of race history um highly valuable and and uh you just don't see them everywhere um, it's about a million dollar car. Wow. Um, so that'll be there and we've got some other sort of uh, different ordinary cars and souped up cars and all kinds of all, a sort of broad spectrum. A quick question. Do you get annoyed when people say Porsche instead of Porsche? I don't, <laughs> but some people do. Um, it, 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 is, it is pronounced Porsche. It's two sil syllables. Um, but uh, it doesn't bother me that much. I was just curious because I feel like, you know, being a Porsche <laughs> guy that yeah. it might get on your nerves a little yeah. bit. But, yeah, that's good because you probably, uh, working with them, you probably hear it pronounced wrong a lot. Yeah. I, I heard an interesting thing about that this, this past weekend. Is, is there, there are people who call it Porsche. And a friend of mine said, oh, really, you have a, you do? Is, is, it, is, it, is it a front Porsche or back Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good one. Uh, ben, what about you? Do you ever bring a car out to the show? I know you're the chair, so. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I don't have a suitable car to bring to the show right now. So. Yeah. Uh, plus, uh, I'm way too busy to, to monitor a car. You know. I'm, yeah. I'm. I'm just. Uh, I'm out roaming the streets, making sure everything's moving along smoothly. So, in your both of your experiences being at the car show. What has been maybe the most standout car? And I'm not talking about one that you're bringing. I'm talking about mm -hmm. one that you've just seen at the show. Something that really, like, opened your eyes. That's a, uh, I always get back to the, uh, the Ann Arbor electric car just because it's such a rarity. Yeah. And, of course, it was a car built in Ann Arbor. Yeah, and, and named and Ann named Arbor. And named after yeah. Ann Arbor. And you don't see too many of those. Um, I didn't know that those existed until I went to the car show, like yeah. a, that I actually ever saw one, yeah. yeah. But there are a lot of cars that, that capture my interest. Um, I, it's, it's hard for me to pick a single one. One of the things that I enjoy are people who have modified something. We yeah. had a guy one year who took a VW bus and shortened it and lowered it and, <coughs> you know, did all this custom work. And yeah, it's just, you know, the different weird stuff is what yeah sort of something gets that you attention. wouldn't see anyone else have exactly yeah exactly i'm kind of the same way you know that one with few cars that stick out there's a i think 59 cadillac beer that shows mm -hmm. up occasionally that's a 
really pretty car. Mm -hmm. uh, we occasionally have a rat rod that shows up, you know, just old rusty, nasty, but there it is. Yeah. Uh, we used to have a couple cars, uh, the lizard car, uh, had lizards yeah. glued all over it and had a fin down, down the center. I feel like I've seen that car yeah. before. Uh, it's just, it's just <laughs> the variety is what, what I like, you know, there's yeah. some really beautiful British cars, there's American cars, there's, I always like the Porsches, Tim's, uh, yeah. Tim's group brings some nice Porsches, I'm kind of a Porsche guy too, so. And I think that's the interesting thing about this car show, because you can go to other shows and it's like, more like, okay, you bring your Chevy, or this is, if this car means something to you and it's like, you got your heart in it, you can bring it to the Rolling Sculpture car show. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, we, we don't. We're not a car club car show. It's, yeah. it's, it's bring whatever you have. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's one of, the, one of the things that most people like about the show is the variety. It's, it's not just Corvettes or Camaros or Mustangs, it's the range. Yeah. I also think it's just nice to like be able to stroll down the town, d downtown. It's like a nice day. You get to see all these cars mm -hmm. that you don't usually, I mean a lot of these cars you would only see this time of year really, if you even see them at all on the road. So when is this year's show? This year the show is on July 14th, Friday, July 14th, Bastille Day, from 2 until 10 p.m. It's open to the public, no admission charge. Uh, competitors or exhibitors uh, have to pay a registration fee, and registration ends this Friday, so that will be all done by this week. But it's okay. open to the public. Uh, come on down and enjoy. So there's no driving up, bringing your car anymore. You have to register in no, advance. It's, 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 we got to the point to where we had enough entries to where we needed to structure the show a little bit more mm -hmm. uh, and make it a little bit more simple to operate and that was the solution we came up and it seems to be working really well. And there's more cars than before it seems like? It, it seems to be pretty much average. We yeah. have about oh between uh, 275, 325, yeah. somewhere along okay. that range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it stays, stays pretty stable. The one thing that will change it uh, is if the, the weather's looking a little bit iffy, some people who are registered will just say, uh, no, I'm not going to take it out today. Yeah. It's, and that's, you know, that's just kind of the nature of the beast. It mm -hmm. happens some, so. Uh, and then you guys always have some awards that you give out to every year? Yes. Uh, this year, uh, we're pleased to, uh, to have Roden Track, a uh, uh, longtime enthusiast magazine who is now headquartered in Ann Arbor. They're a trophy sponsor, and uh, Bill Crispin, uh, Bill Crispin Chevy uh, in Celine is once again back. Glad to have him as our title sponsor. Mm -hmm. Nice. So why don't you just tell people why they should come, even if they've been before, and I know there's music and other mm -hmm. things to do, but why they should come out to the, I can't even remember what year you said, 23rd or something, 23rd. Rolling Sculpture Car Show. Yeah, yeah. you know, this is a car show that is accessible to everybody. You don't have to be a car nut to enjoy this. Um, we've got everything from serious to silly. Um, and, uh, you know, it's a great event. I like to think that it sort of has become a part of the summer landscape of Ann Arbor For events. Sure. You know, we've got Taste of Ann Arbor, we've got the Art Fair, we've got the Summer Festival, and then we've got the Rolling Sculpture Car Show. It's very family friendly. It's very kid friendly. I would like to just sort of say that some people are a little bit more concerned about their car with strollers and, and yeah. ice cream cones and things like that. So you have to be a little sensitive, you know, uh, as to how you approach the cars. But a lot of people are very, uh, are very happy to have kids crawling all over these cars yeah. too. So once you figure out what the owner is comfortable with. Yeah, and with. the owner's sitting right by the car, so well, you kind of get an yep, idea what, yep. they're, one of what my they're guys, gonna allow. One of my guys loves to have kids sitting in his car. Yeah. You know, he puts them in there and they, you know. Yeah. Make, so it's a great time. It's well, and it's interesting that you mentioned that it's like part of the staple of summer events because yep. I actually just read a list of the five things to do in Ann Arbor in the summer and the Mulling Sculpture Car Show was on that list, great. so. Great, Ben? Uh, we're, we're under the umbrella of the Main Street uh, Main Street Area Association, mm -hmm. uh, Executive Director is Maura Thompson, uh, and they're our supporting organization. We, under, with their help, we put on the event, and it's, it's a great thing in downtown Ann Arbor. You know, I, I realize that uh, the traffic uh, restrictions uh, aren't, aren't, don't please some people, but 
I think it's really nice to close down Main Street for an afternoon, just be able to walk up and down, sit at one of the cafes, sit sit on the sit on the sidewalk and have lunch or dinner or whatever. It's and the traffic restrictions really aren't that bad. Every time no, I've no. been down there, I've had no issue trying to find somewhere yeah. to park. Or I don't ride a bike downtown when I yeah. go. I've taken my car and yeah. parked somewhere. So I, I talk with the competitors every year, and some of them volunteer the information, but I ask them, so, what, so how, how are things going? And I, every year I have a number of competitors say, you know, I do, to, do a bunch of car shows, and this is my favorite. Yeah. So yeah. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. Thank you both for coming back on the show again. Thank you. Thanks for having us. For more on this and other programming, visit a2gov.org/ctn. Thanks for watching and tune in next time to FYI.